Now we're taking a look at uh, doing the creative. So uh, the options here are to upload a creative hub mockup or to use an existing post that you already have within the meta environment. Uh, but we're going to create a, a new ad. Um, and the different ones you can choose are a single image or video, carousel or collection. I think we will stick with the single one. I think I hear most people do that. Um, and then in terms of uh, creating the ad, you can click on add media and we click on add image um, and you can upload images. So I just got a few free ones in Pixabay and stuff and you can upload it and it takes a little bit of time. So I have one up already here and then we click on next. And so what it's showing you here is how it will, will uh, go on the one to one. So in here you can choose to replace um, or we can go like this and, yeah, and it crops it in. OK, like this and we can change the cropping to see the way we could actually have the, you know, the positioning of the mountains. You think, well, actually, that's a little bit better. And we can click on apply and you can go with that. I'm not loving this. So maybe go with this one here. And then again, you can decide where that crop is going to be um, and you fix up all the different options in here. Or if one doesn't work at all, you can replace it with a different photograph. Um, and then when you're happy, you click on done. So uh, imagine this is a, a hill walking weekend for senior citizens uh, and the company I'm working for is called Hills Alive. So I just thought I'd uh, include that. So I just typed in a, a suggested primary text in here um, and the new versions of um, of the meta advertising suite actually then will create uh, additional optional uh, uh, variations on the headline that I typed in. And the one I typed in was, was discover the beauty of Donegal with Hills Alive. Join our senior citizen uh, walking weekend for a relaxing and scenic adventure. Book now and enjoy nature at its finest was my option. And so it has automatically created these. Um, and as you go through them, you can go, um, you were going to take all of them um, and you could read them through them and go, yeah, that one's good, uh, but I don't like this one. This one is too long. So maybe we'll take all of them uh, and then I'm going to untick, for example, uh, this one here. Um, so, you know, and then you can choose them. So it will create uh, additional variations of your text uh, for you. Um, now, adding a destination is important. So uh, if you don't, then it'll just take you to the Facebook. Page. Somebody will click on the ad and it'll just take you to either the Facebook or the Instagram page. Uh, but if you wanted to take uh, it to your um, uh, to, to the actual website, then you tick in there. So here you can see it has uh, created headlines for you uh, and it's sort of done so the thinking you go, oh, actually, I like that one. I don't like this one. Um, and so you can uh, you go with all of those. I'm going to accept all of those rather than having to think up some new ones. And you can see over on this side, uh, it's actually um, it's, it's displaying the ads and sort of variations on the ads. And you can sort of see how they look uh, in the different formats, uh, which is a really nice feature.